Hey guys, this is Hakeem Isler with Drills to Skills. I'm going to be working on some different drills that are going to help you build the skills to, to work instinctively around a blade. Remember, these are just drills. They are to help build some skills. They are not the skill themselves. So I'm working with Froilin here. First, we're gonna be working this kind of disarming drill. And again, disarms are things that are really funny to mess with because if you have somebody who's murderous trying to get you, you know, worrying about a disarm is not the, the, the way to go, I don't think. Um, but if you're learning a martial art and you're trying to build some different skill sets, this is really cool for that. This is really cool. So just preface this in the right space in the right time, all right? So I'm working with Froilin here and Froilin, he basically has this blade. What he's gonna be doing is he's going to be coming from heart to heart, coming to stab me. Now, when he does that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift off a line, all right? He goes to stab, shifting off line to move out of the way from where the stab was coming. It's here. I don't wanna try to grab it or stop it while I'm right in front of this thing, right? I'm gonna move off line to capture that. From here, what I'm gonna do is close on it. Now from here, what I could be doing is I could be hitting, I could be locking this in, whatever the case may be, but right now we're not worried about that. We're just building a drill that's gonna help us understand how to move offline and get a hold of this thing uh, in an instinctive response. So he comes in, he goes in here to do this. I meet this here. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna work this disarm. So I'm getting close up on the knife. I'm gonna flip this end towards him. From here I have all types of cool things where I can drive this back into him if I need it to. Uh, again, we're not working on that right now. We're just gonna continue to circle this around, clear this and put it in front of his face. Now, we're gonna do a knife spin, which is a little bit difficult when you're working this drill because it, it really forces you to work on how do you feel the balance of different knives? How do you feel the, the dexterity of different knives? And the more you work this kind of knife spinning, it helps you get an understanding of how to do that without actually seeing it. And then also to feel the balance and get comfortable with different blades, different types of blades. So that's another drill within itself that helps you build some skills. But it's not something, again, I do in a fight. I would just work with it. However I disarmed it, if it's here, then I'm gonna work with it. If it's here, then I'm gonna work with it. Right now, he comes back in with this thing. I'm moving offline, hugging this, spinning this around. I'm putting this right in front of his face. He's not gonna want this arm up. He's gonna wanna bring this arm down, and he's also gonna wanna clear this hand somehow, right? When he's, as all of that is happening, it buys me time to kind of flip this thing around, and as he clears that hand and he drops his arm down, this is gonna be coming into him. Froilin just simply is going to do the same thing. He's gonna rotate, he's gonna knock this up in front of me. I'm gonna clear it out. I'm gonna move offline and capture that thing. Turn, use my body to flip this over, clear, spin it, right? Come at him, good, he does it. Boom, and this is the drill. So he knocks this up, I clear this off, boom, move. Here, here, boom, here. Good. So when he's coming in here, I don't want to be out here trying to defend and deflect that. I got to move off the X. My body needs to be safe. So when he comes in here with this, what I'm doing is I'm moving offline on this outside line so that I can shoot across and take his, his space if I wanted to. Again, from here, I could just grab this and get in here and get tight, but we're working a different type of skill today. So when this thing comes in here, right i'm moving here i want to take this away i'm working on destroying this hand or taking this out just another skill set for me to add to my repertoire so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to meet this thumbs down away from me come to the back side of the knife and right close to where the top of his grip is right and now i'm just going to roll it as i start to roll it out using my body right i'm going to let my hands collapse around the handle of the blade right as we go from there now i just go for the stab he's going to rotate take that thing out good boom he's got this straight grip again i clear this off i move offline i capture this here boom he rotates that off good here boom
Notice how I'm moving that body where I can take that thing. Now again, we have different knees, boom, elbow, break here, where I could just be wrestling, holding this thing, pow, 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 right? Then I can take it and get them from there. Does that make sense? But it takes time for us to get to that point. We're gonna work these drills to build those type of skills. So I'm thinking instinctively and intuitively and not just having one thing in my repertoire. Yeah. Here is now he's coming wider. So he's coming wider. So for me to be able to move to the outside of that is impossible. So I gotta deal with what I have. So I'm gonna still try to get to the outside of his body, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet that inside and knock it to the outside where I can get onto it. Now he's not gonna like it way out there, so he's gonna try to pull it back, but he pulls it right to me. That gives me the opportunity to do my drill. He goes, he clears that, and now I'm going to go wide, and then he's gonna pass it, lock it, good, and then go there. Boom, he's coming short inside, we got that out. He has that one disarm. If he's coming high like so, I'm gonna clear, grab this, lock, boom. He can come that way, boom. Excellent, excellent. Nice, knocking this down. He came with the reverse grip. I came with the reverse grip. He came with the straight grip, boom. I came with the reverse grip, nice. He came with the reverse grip. I came with the straight grip, yes. So you can play with this and have a lot of fun as you move through this drill, boom. Ooh, got the hand, yeah. Notice how I keep my body low, make sure that all those pieces are there. Boom.